Hello and welcome back to Half-Life 2 The Let's Play Blind. Right then, there's been an interesting debate in the last two videos about the genders of the antlions because I made a comment about if an antlion was male and female and if so, how do you tell if it is a male or female via its sexual organs? Does it have a penis or a vagina, for example? And I sort of meant it half jokingly because I was actually naturally curious, but I also know that there's no answer to that question because it's just one of those things where you just you don't really think about it, you know, because there we are a species of I don't know whether to say alien creature or mutated creature. I don't know. Did they come from Zen or not? I'm not 100% sure, probably, but you can clarify me on that one uh, throughout the video by leaving a comment if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, it was quite an interesting debate. Um, and I have to say that the, the verdict's still out there. It's, it, we haven't really confirmed anything, but just it's just possible that, you know, they don't have to be male or female. They could be of another gender that's totally alien to humans. Or they could be... Uh, hermaphrodites in that they don't actually have a sexual gender they reproduce without sex you know so you know it was just quite interesting that it got brought up and it went quite deep although well, fair enough so yeah thank you very much guys who participated in that it was it was an interesting uh, conversation and debate so well done it was it was good fun i hope we have another one like that in the future though not necessarily on sexual gender orientation but whatever it could be could be not i don't really mind um the other thing to mention is that uh, apparently nova prospect um someone gave me some more information on it i think hidden windshield did or it could have been M. Richer or uh, Delirus in, in, in Nominata. I forget, but um, I haven't really prepared for this, so I'm just kind of doing it off the top of my head. But I promise in the next video, any comments, I will mention names properly. I, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit tired. I've had a lot of work on again, so I'm just trying to recover from it. Um, in that, uh, yeah, this place is a prison, or was a prison complex that got taken over by the Combine, and it was used to turn people from the very beginning of the game, people who were entering City 17, so all the people in the blue suits, I guess. I don't know if it was to turn all of them into it, or just select people. Um, I guess selected ones, but it was apparently to take... They selected certain people, uh, you know, due to that scanning process that we went through, uh, to be sent here, to be turned into something called a stalker. We, I don't know what they are, or... Um, what, what, what they're used for, for the Combine's uh, interests, but apparently they're quite creepy things. Um, but we don't actually encounter them as an enemy in this game, which is a bit of a spoiler, I know, but uh, you guys already know that. But apparently they're still something to be looked at. So I thought, oh, OK, fair enough. Something along those lines. But apparently that's why we were sort of subdiverted uh, down the corridor at the beginning of the game, you know, rather than going through the check. They were like, you go this way. And they sent us down that corridor. If it wasn't for Barney getting us out of there, we would have apparently been sent here and turned into a stalker. So I still don't know what a stalker actually is, what they look like or what they're used for, but apparently that's what it was. So, yeah, so that's just a bit more background information about Nova Prospect. So, uh, you know, it filled me in on it and I was like, oh, good. Thanks for that. Thank you very much, guys to let me know so i'm sort of a bit more clued in now as to what's going on right then uh we need to go up these stairs with our wonderful antline army that got pretty slaughtered in the last video I, I must i must say uh because i'm absolutely rubbish at combat also a lot of it was going on in the background i didn't have much control over what they were doing and they were just going for the combine the combine was shooting them down you know it, it was a bit of a massacre but there's lots of them about they kept coming back for more and now we've still got our our army who are addicted to our uh, pheropods. I have still don't know why we've got unlimited pheropods. It's kind of strange. But whatever, I'm not complaining. As long as it keeps them on our side and not killing us, I'm all for it. Um, but uh, also, yes, apparently I was sort of advised to, rather than sort of have them behind me, uh, to actually use the pheropods and throw it in front of me. So I could use them as a, a meat shield, so to speak, against hordes of combines. So whenever I got cornered uh, by the combine in the in the corridor bits, uh, you know, I should have used the pheropods to, to throw the outlines at them to use them as cannon fodder so I could then take out the combine more effectively but instead I use grenades and that's that and apparently it was quite effective so yay right then so speaking of which oh good start so far right oh dear 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 well I could not prevent the slaughter again. Ow! I should have noticed that grenade to be in there, but never mind. I did not prevent a slaughter of antlions. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm so glad you're able to get dig yourselves up from the ground. I appreciate it. But oh, Jesus! Guys, guys, stop it! Oh no, that's a that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, poop! Uh, that's a 
touch him. Oh! What the bloody hell was that? I think I inadvertently used the secondary function of the rifle. Jesus! All I saw was just a beam going on ahead. I thought it knocked out the the turret, which it did, and then some guy levitated up and just disappeared in a bright yellow light. Damn! Hidden windshield wasn't kidding when he said this secondary function was quite powerful. Though I feel ashamed that I missed out uh, on one of the ammo. I am a bit annoyed about that. In uh, I think a couple of videos ago. Ah! Speaking of which, there you go. That looks like an alternative fire ammo for this. That's good. So excellent. Right. Somebody seems to be speaking in the background. Oh. Let me say up front that I regret having to temper my heartfelt congratulations with a strong measure of disappointment. Oh. Well, oh, boo hoo to you. As your administrator, if I didn't pass along the message I had received from our benefactors, the capture of Eli Vance is an event of major significance. Oh. A and while it's true that conceivably we could have taken him at almost any time in the last several years, then why didn't you? The manner of his capture may prove to have unexpected benefits. Oh, okay. I have gone unnoticed by all resistance members that Dr. Vance's capture coincided with the act of giving shelter to Gordon Freeman. Okay, how is that important? This might cause other resistance members to think twice before harboring Dr. Freeman. Oh, I see. It might cause them to question his allegiance. Yeah. Even from some to turn him out or turn him over to our cause. Why would they do that? Oh yeah, I suppose because they believe that we betrayed Vance. Well yeah, that would be the more logical sense. Who are your benefactors? Obviously I am not on the ground to closely command or second guess the dedicated forces of the Overwatch. Oh, they the benefactors. But this does not mean I can shirk responsibility for recent lapses and even outright failures on their part. Oh, you're blaming your bosses. That's quite a gutsy move. I have question about these shortcomings and now I must put the question to you. Okay. Could one man has slipped through your forces' fingers time and time again. Because I'm playing as Gordon, that's why. <laughs> and I have a reset button. This is some agent provocateur or highly trained assassin we are discussing. Well, for someone who isn't a highly trained assassin, I'm pretty damn good. If I say so myself. He earned the distinction of his PhD at the time of the Black Mesa incident. I, I earned it fair and square. I took the tests. He was in a state that precluded further development of covert skills. The man you have consistently failed to slow, let alone capture, is by all standards simply that, an ordinary man. How can you have failed to apprehend him? Well, I will leave the upgrading for another time to the extent it proves necessary. I think you need to retrain your men to capture ordinary people. I think that's your problem. If the transhuman forces are to prove themselves an indispensable augmentation to the Combine Overwatch, they will have to earn the privilege. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that the alternative, if you can call it that, is total extinction. In union with all the other unworthy branches of the species. Let's not allow it to come to that. I have done my best. To convince our benefactors that you are the finest the species has to offer. So far, they have accepted my argument, but without what? concrete evidence to back it up. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Why would they do that? I wish my bosses did that. The burden of proof is on you, as is the consequence of failure. I'll just leave it at that. In other words, you don't know because you're being lazy. Okie dokie. Well, that was rather creepy. I don't know who was saying that message. Probably. Doctor, I forget his name now, the bad guy. Um, he's having to go at the soldiers for failing to capture me, and then he tried to belittle me as saying I'm an ordinary fellow. And to be fair, I am. Gordon hasn't had any training in guns, and he probably did just 
you know, get his theoretical physics degree without much sort of recognition, you know, it was just, oh, he passed, well done, you know, like I did when I got my bachelor's, I didn't really, you know, do anything magnificent to get it, I just passed tests and did all right in my bachelor's project, you know, whoop de doo I'm just another bachelor of physics, you know, woohoo. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I, but, you know, that shouldn't be held against me as being not capable of doing... Please don't do that! Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, have some bug I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you. I'm really sorry. You can't jump on me like that. Honest to God. It scares the hell out of me. Hang on a second. Hang on a minute. I've just noticed something. Some of these antlions have different coloured backs. Look at their backs there. Look at their back in front of me there. That's got like green on the outside, which most of them have, and like a sort of dark bluey blacky stripe in the middle, or like two stripes together to make one big stripe, right? That one's got it with slight yellow patches, the one to my right. That one's got even weirder patterns on there. And then the one behind me, on the right, has got red patches on it. Has this got something to do with sexual identification? <gasps> we might have found a clue. Or it might just be the developer's way of trying to realistically depict the antlions as being, you know, a unique species, but, you know, with sort of gender difference, not gender differences, genetic differences, you know, they're not all going to look the same. Which but strikes the question, Valve, if that was the case, if you were just trying to show a little bit of variety, you know, like every species out there on planet Earth that exists has some variation within it, you know, minor ones, such as with the outlines of the skin colour and all that, or their, uh, I don't know if it's skin or not, I'm not quite sure what to call it, armour or whatever, oh, my biology is terrible by the way, um, if you were to, or exoskeleton or something like that, but if you're going to put that much detail into your antline people to vary the difference, to show a little bit of variation, so you know, it, it shows that you put effort in the design of them and make them look a bit varied, why couldn't you do that with the vagina monster zombies? Why couldn't you show some of them in blue shirts and some of them in the brown, different clothing? I still can't get over that. I know we've got that shirt problem. I know we solved it with the shirt thing, but not all of them would have... Surely some of the headcrabs could still turn some people into zombies and, and you know, even without the blue shirts. It can't have been that bad. I mean, it can't have been that desperate either. I don't know. I, I think we... I, I think I'm going to... I'm overthinking the problem. I'm sorry. And I just paid the price for overthinking there. Yeah, that that's fine. Oh no, we've got to start all the way back here because I didn't save because I'm a complete numpty. Oh. Last it. Alright, well I won't show you this bit, so I'll, I'll do this bit again off screen and then I'll, I'll come back to where we were. Hopefully this time without overthinking and over detailing like I usually do. And we can actually make some progress because it's probably been about 15 minutes now and nothing's actually happened. I apologise, I'm just in one of those rambly moods. Back in a sec.